Hi there everyone, welcome back to my channel. Those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Lily, I hope you are here to stay. For today's DIY, we're doing things a little different than what you guys are usually used to because I've teamed up with my awesome friend Cal from Simply Handmade and we're gonna be showing you guys how to make 12 super cool Christmas ornaments. We're gonna be splitting this project in half, so don't forget to go ahead and check out the other six on her YouTube channel. A few fun facts you guys might want to know about these Christmas ornaments is that you can upcycle your old ornaments and they are super kid friendly to make so I hope you guys have fun making them over the holidays. Don't forget to let me know which one's your favorite down below in the comments and if you like it give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Okay, let's get started. For your star ornament you'll need 6 twigs, hot glue and some gold wire. To start, make 2 triangles by hot gluing them together. Then lay one triangle on top of the other and hot glue them both into place. Following that, take your gold wire and wrap your star in wire to make it twinkle. To make your rustic candlestick ornament, you'll need a rustic stick measuring at about 5 to 6 inches, an almond, a clothespin, and some pine sprigs with some hot glue. To begin, you'll need to attach your stick to your clothespin by hot gluing it. Then, do the same with your almond and attach it to the top. Following that, add your pine sprigs to cover up your clothespin, and that's it! For your upcycled plaid ornament, you'll need a piece of square fabric, an ornament, some scissors, and string. Simply wrap your fabric around your ornament to see the approximate size square needed. Then cut your fabric to size and wrap it around your ornament. To finish it off, use your string to secure your fabric into place. To make your upcycled apple ornament, you'll need an old plastic ornament, some tin snips, fabric, hot glue, chalk, a twig for the stem, and some pine sprigs. To start making your apple, you'll need to take your tin snips and make a hole at the top of your ornament. It needs to be about 3 fourths of an inch in diameter. Then, you'll need to mark an X on your fabric and place your ornament on your X. Following that, roll your ornament around marking with chalk for the approximate size of your circle. Cut your fabric out at about 1 inch bigger than where you marked it. It doesn't need to be a perfect circle. Then place your ornament on the X and wrap your fabric around and into the ornament, sticking the extra fabric into the hole you made. Finally, take your twig and add some hot glue to the end and stick it into the ornament. This will keep the fabric in place. To finish it off, attach your pine sprigs with some hot glue. For your snowy pine cone ornament, you'll need a jar of white paint, a pine cone, some string, hot glue, pine sprigs, and wax paper. To start, take your string and make a loop. Using your hot glue, attach it to the top of your pine cone. Once it's dry, hold your pine cone by your loop and lower it into your jar of paint. Quickly remove it and lay it onto your wax paper. Roll your pine cone around a bit in the excess paint and leave it overnight to dry on the wax paper. Then attach your pine sprigs once it's dry. For your baby Jesus ornament, you'll need some felt, some small wood peg people, dry grass or hay, a clear ornament, a hot knife if your ornament doesn't have a hole, and some hot glue. To start, simply wrap your baby Jesus in felt, focusing on keeping it neat around the head. Then fill your ornament with hay and flatten it down. Following that, add some hot glue to your baby Jesus and attach him to the hay. That's it! Let's see how they all look! Hope you guys love those six Christmas ornaments. My favorite one is definitely the apple because it is a super fun way to upcycle an old ornament. Before you guys jump on over to Simply Handmade and check out her amazing six Christmas ornaments, don't forget to subscribe if you already have. Then thank you so much for following me. I hope to see you guys next time and that's it for today. Bye!